Hello. Uh, this week is the last rights of Jeff Myrtlebank, Jeffrey Myrtlebank, and it, it is an ensemble piece. There's a lot of, of people in this episode as opposed to the last few that's had a very sort of small cast. Uh, this one has a, a much bigger cast with a lot more characters and character interaction uh, going on. So, uh, we'll start with some production notes. Um, in the church, you can see that it's a, a painted backdrop on the, on the, behind the windows. That's certainly not a look from the inside into the outside. Um, you can't really shoot that all that well using the technology of the 60s, uh, because it'd probably be too bright outside and would just turn all white anyway. Um, so that happens. Uh, and Jeff makes this mention of, of being, you know, rested because he's been lying down for three days and, and, uh, real hungry. Uh, and there's no zombie reference, uh, to this because zombies weren't a thing. Uh, Romero hadn't done his movies at this point. So, uh, it wasn't, you know, part of the, of the sort of cultural landscape, as it were. Um, Epo suspended or Epo suspended animation is not a thing. Uh, there hasn't been 30 cases in the last 1500 years, as far as anyone knows. That's just something that the doc made up, obviously. Um, but it's, it's a fun way of him trying to get out of, of the, um, responsibility of pronouncing a man dead. Hi, okay. cat. Uh, when, when he really wasn't quite dead. There goes the cat. Um, so it leaned just a shade towards the side of listlessness. Now, shiftlessness even. That's not to say that he's lazy, but it is a fantastic way of saying it. Uh, leaned a shade toward, yeah, leaned a, just a shade towards the side of this. Yeah, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then we have a, a sort of radical uh, show of old technology in the lean to phone. So, since you needed to hold the receiver up to your ear and you need to be very close to the mouthpiece, uh, they built this little shelf that you leaned your elbow on so that you could hold up the receiver to your ear. Uh, I, I like the design. It, it shows that whoever made it uh, was, was thinking ahead and had actually used the product before they shipped it. Um, there's uh, an issue when uh, Jeff goes to comfort and and goes in because if you look on the outside shot uh, their shadows or his shadow is on the door and then when they open the door and he steps in the light is coming from inside and towards the wall because they're on an, a different set uh, so they 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 messed that up and I, I sort of noted it mostly in the position of of how they stepped in but then when I when I looked at it I saw that the shadows moved as well which was you know, a bit unsettling um the the trick with the with the match is nice uh, a bit of of sleight of hand there or maybe devil magic who knows uh, basic press the digitation I suppose and uh, but there is there is no um, no next week on the Twilight Zone it's only very very short uh, outro uh, and nothing about next week's episode which is a bit odd but to serve man which is uh, this uh, the next episode is uh, quite a good one so i'm i can't quite fathom why they wouldn't make uh, a mention of it but that's what we're going to do next week we're going to do to serve man and i hope to see you then take care now